Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, and I just wanted to take a little time to recap a recent Zootopia Sewing Club. And I was inspired by our cutwork embroidery workshop we did with a neat, a good design. And we did a video on this Christmas tree towel. We had so much fun because it's great because as you stitched it out and cut it out and fabric was put behind it, you can see the fabric that was added. That's what gave it the life in with this. Now, tell you the truth, I'm not a real lacy type person. So I conferred with my mother-in-law who is, and she is known to have tons of linens in her possession at any time. So uh, I asked her, I said, so could I, you know, maybe borrow some linens and just do some of my samples on them? And what a great time I had. She brought me a tub and she had to walk me through it because there were some I could use and some I couldn't use because a lot of them had stories. They were from her family or somebody gave them to her and some were just absolutely beautiful. They didn't need any more embellishment. But some of them were just simple with edges with lace on them. And I use them to kind of use, um, do some of the samples that I'm going to show you. Um, on our blog is going to be a variety of links and pictures of these projects. So follow the, the description in this YouTube video for further information. So I kind of started off by just taking one of the, t like a towel, had this beautiful hem stitching on it. And I did a collection from Anita Good Design. This is the Canterbury Collection with monogram, it's got borders in it. It was just amazing. And different sizes come on the embroidery CD. So we went ahead and just did one up and how beautiful it looked. So if you, the moral of the story, if you have linens, they can be a great place to sample some of your work on, whether it's embroidery or doing it by hand. But I definitely had a much a higher appreciation after I did all this cut work via the embroidery machine, what it is when you see something that's been done all by hand. I look at and look at all the stitching. It's pretty amazing. So it definitely gave me an understanding there. Um, this one was one that again, the piece just had lace around the edge. And this was um, a design from one of our machines, just a built-in design with some water soluble stabilizer that helped. And when we cut away this really big open areas and then just let it stitch out all in one color and the pink really gave it a nice look there. Now this was actually from also a Need a Good Design. This is Cutwork Corners. And I just took one of the linens that had a pink rolled edge on it and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna use it. So I didn't do it exactly the way the pattern is meant to be done. It's meant to be that where the edge of the stitching is, that would have been the shape of the corner. And then when you got to the edge, you just tucked it under and then stitched it as its new little hem and then finished it. Since it already had that pretty um, edge, I didn't wanna, uh, change it at all, but I wanted a place to show you how easy it is to do a little corner. Now this design I wasn't thrilled about while I was watching it stitch because it was pretty plain, but as soon as I put the fabric that was to go behind it, it really gave it the life. The purple just brought itself through the openings where the cutwork was actually made. Now, at the end of this video, we are going to show you a live demonstration of how the Husqvarna Viking cutwork needle set works. Now these needles can be used in any embroidery machine. And then if you pick designs, for example, from Husqvarna Viking that have the starts and stops and the information for the cutwork needles, they will work beautifully. It actually cuts out uh, your fabric as you go. So you don't have to stop like I did on some of these other ones that weren't programmed for these needles and trim and trim and trim, but it was worth it. But these definitely speed things up. This is one of the designs that actually comes in this set. You get a, a CD with a couple designs on it. And this is actually more of like a reverse cut work. So it's gonna cut it out. And then after you cut it out, you put a piece of fabric underneath and then it stitches that fabric in as it goes and it really has a neat effect. And as you can see, we kind of did two blocks with the light color showing through and then two blocks with the dark showing through. So let's get started with how we do it, kind of the new way of automated cut work. Here's what it's gonna look like on your machine for where the cutwork needles are positioned in number two and number three. Start off by hooping your fabric with some just basic tear away stabilizer. And after it does the straight stitch, you're gonna remove the thread and take out the standard needle. Place one of the cutwork needles, cutwork needle number one. There are four in the pack and each one has a different angle that cuts different parts of the design. Now this isn't just a normal stitching line. It's actually doing quite a few different stitches as it's actually cutting for that angle all the way along the inside of that straight line stitching. 
Once it gets all the way around, we're gonna remove that needle and put in needle number two, a slightly different angle to make sure that is completely cut away. Isn't that a great tool? It's the multi-purpose tool from Husqvarna Viking. It really helps get your hands out of the way and easily put that needle in and out as you change it. So after it goes around here, you're gonna find that you're gonna put your regular needle back in and re-thread with your regular color. Then we're gonna take the fabric we wanna show through and slide it underneath our hoop. Once you put it underneath the hoop, you kinda of can just let it float along there and the stitching line will kinda of baste it in place or you can kinda of tape it in if you're unsure if it's gonna stay. Once you've done that, now you can remove the cutaway and you can see our fabric showing through. The next line of stitching is just a basic straight line to kinda of hold that raw edge from moving around before it does that pretty decorative stitch all the way around the, the flower. Now you could use your own decorative stitches on your own machine and create the same exact look. Isn't that beautiful? Check out our website at heirloomcreations.net and our blog for more details.